All right, knee sleeves, because sometimes your knees just need some love. Give me a hug. Today we're gonna to talk about what knee sleeves are, why you might wanna wear them, where to get some, what are some of the brands that you can get, kinda of when to put them on. Most importantly, stick around to the end, we'll talk about the quick and easy way to put your knee sleeves on. It's not the way that you think. You didn't even see that coming, did you? So first, what is a knee sleeve? Let's not complicate this. A knee sleeve is a sleeve that goes on your knee. Get out of here. They're usually gonna be made out of neoprene and they're typically the most common thicknesses are gonna come in either five millimeters or seven millimeters thickness. And when I say thickness, I'm referring to this dimension here from the, the outside of the sleeve to the inside of the sleeve. Why might you wanna wear knee sleeves? Well, you're gonna to wanna to wear knee sleeves if you have the very specific medical condition known as achy knees, if you got some cranky knees. Now, bear in mind that if your knees are bugging you a little bit, there may be some programming considerations, there may be some technical considerations. However, both of those are beyond the scope of this video because we're talking about sleeves. So in both of those cases, you need to seek out a good coach. Suffice to say that if your knees are a little bit cranky, a knee sleeve is probably gonna be useful for you. It provides some warmth, it provides some compression. It's gonna act like a nice, warm hug for your knees and who doesn't want a nice warm hug where can you get knee sleeves what brands should you get Well, we're not going to endorse any specific brand this is just a general discussion of knee sleeves but in general you're probably going to want to get your knee sleeves on the internet you might be able to find some locally um, but Amazon works great any fitness supply store is going to have a pretty good supply of uh, knee sleeves that you can take a look at. These are Ray-Bans. These are just some of the more common brands, certainly not the only ones that are out there, uh, but these are Ray-Bans, R-E-H-B-A-N-D. These are my knee sleeves. I like them, they're fine. We're not being endorsed by Ray-Ban or anything like that. These are Iron Bull, uh, fairly popular um, on Amazon if you go and look at that. Um, SBD, these are actually inside out. Um, SBD knee sleeves, very popular. Uh, Stoic, also a very popular knee sleeve brand. Um, so you've got some good options and we'll link to some options in the description below this video as well. When you're shopping for your knee sleeves, you're typically gonna run across five millimeter thick knee sleeves and seven millimeter thick knee sleeves. These are all seven millimeter thick knee sleeves because let me tell you, this is probably what's gonna happen. If you go out and get five millimeter thick knee sleeves, you're gonna like them, they're gonna be fine, but a year or two from now, you're probably gonna try on someone else's seven millimeter thick knee sleeves and you're gonna wish that you had gotten those. So my recommendation is just get the seven millimeter thickness right at the get-go. Cost, in general, anywhere from about $40 to $80 for a pair. So obviously cheaper than that if you're getting singles, but about $40 to $80 for a pair. The more expensive that you get, they'll probably last you longer. When to use your knee sleeves. Well, let's talk about what lifts to use them on first. Generally, we're speaking about the squat and Olympic lifting because Olympic lifting involves a squat as part of the movement. Now, there's probably a, a certain component that actually helps with the landing aspect as well and the impact that the knees take, but in general, we're talking about the squat. Now, if you wanna use them on things like the bench or the press, you can certainly do it. It's not gonna help, but it's not gonna hurt. Likewise, on the deadlift, a little bit more of a complicated discussion. In general, the deadlift does not have a whole lot of knee flexion to it, so you're probably not gonna feel the need to wear your knee sleeves on the deadlift, and if you don't, if you're knees aren't bugging you on the deadlift, I wouldn't wear them on the deadlift because you've got to deal with that thickness when you're trying to keep that bar close to you. You've got to deal, even though the thickness is slight, it's still there. So if you don't need to wear them on the deadlift, I would not wear them on the deadlift. That being said, if your knees are bugging you a little bit and the knee sleeves help out on the deadlift, go ahead and wear it. It's fine. When to put them on in your training. Again, like a lot of things, don't complicate the issue. Some people will wait until later in their training. They'll almost kind of treat their knee sleeves like a belt, so they'll kind of wait until the weight gets a little bit heavier. Maybe they'll wait till their last warm up, and then they'll pull their knee sleeves up around their knees, and then of course they'll keep them up there for their work sets. But in general, most people, when they put their knee sleeves on, will just pull them all the way up right away, put them over their knees, and they're good to go, and they're just gonna do their entire training session, their entire, their entire squat session like that. Now, possibly the most important part, how you put your knee sleeves on. All right, so we have Mike here to demonstrate how to put a knee sleeve on because I did not wear shorts and Mike was kind enough to wear shorts. Couple considerations. One, let's talk about the, the snugness of your knee sleeve. In general, to provide some compression and warmth, you want them to be pretty snug. A reasonable approach is you want them to be snug, but not so snug that you actually need somebody else to help you put them on. Another way to think about it is they should be, again, snug, but not so snug that you feel the need to take them off in between sets. Second consideration, everybody makes this mistake at least once, make sure that you have your shoes off before trying to put your sleeves on. This seems obvious, but you will probably make this mistake at some point. 
All right, so Mike now has the knee sleeve in its normal configuration, its normal right side out configuration. However, we want the knee sleeve to be three things. We want it to be inside out, which he's doing it right now. We want it to be upside down, and we also want it to be backwards. In other words, the part that covers your knee should be facing backwards. That helps it come go around the ankle just a little bit. From here, he's gonna pull it on until it gets a little bit past his, his foot, basically. Then he's gonna spin it back around the correct direction, and he's gonna pull this part of the knee sleeve right here up to right about here, basically just below his knee. And that's actually where it's pretty much gonna sit. From there, he's gonna grab the bottom of the knee sleeve, what will be the top, and he's gonna peel it up over the top. And that's really what makes this method easier. That way the knee, slide, the knee sleeve slides over itself instead of over your sticky skin, all right? And then from here, you might have to make a couple minor adjustments, so he might pull it up a little bit higher, but for the most part, it's in its final position. Then, taking the knee sleeve off when you're done is the exact opposite. You're just going to peel it back down. You may or may not decide to rotate it backwards again to get it around the ankle, and then you're just going to take it off, and you're good to go. We hope this was useful, and as always, we hope this helps you get stronger and live better.